Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel where we talk about interior design tips and inspiration. Today's video is a follow-up on a recent previous video I did about things I learned in interior design school. One of the things I mentioned in that video is color theory. I took an entire class all about color theory, how colors interact with each other, how different cultures use color to signify different things all of that. So today I thought we would specifically talk about color theory and dive a little bit deeper about the things that I've learned since that video I just mentioned color theory pretty generally. The first thing that we're going to talk about is probably something that you've heard of before and it's just warm tones versus cool tones. This was a hard concept for me to digest before going into interior design school. I heard the terms cool tone and warm tone tossed around all the time but never really felt like I understood it until I went to design school and took this color theory class. We have a color wheel, right? And there's a bajillion colors on the color wheel. We have warm hues, which are like red, orange, yellow, and we have cool hues, which are the blues, the purples, the greens. Those are generally the cool tones. Even though that's pretty easy to understand that red, orange, yellow, or warm, red, orange, and yellow can still have cool tones in them. I think the easiest example to talk about is red because if you are into makeup, then you know red lipstick, right? And the most traditional sense of a red lipstick is going to be a cool tone red. And this is going to make your teeth look whiter and brighter because it brings out the cool tones. Whereas if you wear a warm tone red, then it kind of is going to bring out any yellowness that you have in your teeth teeth and so that's why a lot of people gear towards using the blue tone cool tone red lipsticks to make their teeth pop and look whiter so all of the traditional colors that you know red orange yellow blue green purple they all have warm tones or cool tones in them depending on which shade which hue you are looking at this can be really confusing because it's not just oh all reds are warm tone all purples are cool tone i recently got ice cream i got <laughs> This is so funny. I recently got ice cream and I got a Oreo and I got like a Snickers or something. And I took a picture of it because I was like, oh my gosh, this totally shows warm and cool tones in white. But you can see the Oreo flavored ice cream definitely has a more blue hue to it, especially when it's up next to something that's warm tone like the Snickers ice cream. Although on their own, if you were to look at either of these, you would probably just think like, oh, it has a vanilla white base, which they do, but when you see um, them paired together, you can see the contrasting tones within them. This also goes for like grays. I know cool tone grays were really, really in for the last, you know, 10, 20 years. And now we're seeing a shift go into the warmer tones, which people are still using gray. It's just more of a warm tone gray. It almost looks more like a brown. Okay, next we're gonna talk about hues, tints, tones, shades, all that. So what is a hue? Pretty much hue just means the pure color. So you can think of primary colors, red, yellow, blue. Those are all very saturated, very pure colors. Now that you know what a hue is, which is a pure color, we're gonna talk about tint. Now tint is a pure color slash hue with adding white to that hue. So if you were to add white to red, then you're going to get pink. So pink is technically a tint of red. It's not a pure hue. So if you have a tint of something, you're taking a color and you're making it lighter with white. Okay, the next one is a tone and tone is a pure color of a hue but you're adding gray to it. So you're adding white and black to kind of get more of a dulled down, less saturated color. And then a shade, if you think about like what a shade does, it darkens, right? This is adding black to the pure color, to the hue, to get a darker hue. So you get a little bit less saturated and more of a dark, undertone a instead of having this really saturated bright color you're gonna have a little bit less saturated and a deeper tone okay and now i want to talk about how colors can vary so there's two main reasons why a color will vary in a space one is from light and the second is from what other colors it's paired with so let's talk about light first. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how the color of this wood changes with different light. So I am filming with a ring light and it can change different colors. So I'm gonna show you how the color of this wood sample is going to change with the different colors of light. Okay, so right now we're just kind of in a neutral color with the light. I'm gonna switch it. 
this is more of a blue tone so you can probably see that it changed the color a bit then we're going to go to a warm tone and you can definitely see how that changed the color of it and i'm just going to turn the light off for a moment and you can see how that changes it dramatically as well okay now that's back to our normal light. Lighting's gonna change your paint, the, any colors really that you have in your house. Lighting is a huge contributor to how color comes off. If you think about it, if you're in a completely pitch black room, you're not gonna be able to see the colors of anything because materials have to have light to reflect the color off of. If you have no light, then there's gonna be no color reflection because that is how you see color is with light. And why this is so important is because I suggest to never ever pick anything out until you bring a sample of whatever you're going to be using into your space because if you go and pick out a paint color at Home Depot, they're gonna have way different lighting than what you have in your home most likely. So you may fall in love with a color at Home Depot and think that yes, this is perfect, this is going to be it. And then we don't bring home a sample paint or swatches and then go ahead and just paint your entire room or home that color. You might be extremely disappointed because it is going to look completely different depending on your windows, your color of your overhead lighting. Stay tuned for next week's video. I'm gonna talk more about lighting specifically, go a little bit more in depth. Okay, so now we kind of covered light, but now I wanna talk about how colors can look differently depending on what other colors that they're paired with. I'm gonna throw up on the screen kind of a little color thing with some orange and some blues. So if you look at this picture, then you're going to see orange on the left hand side and blue on the right hand side. And in the middle of both of these oranges and the blues, you're going to see the smaller brown square. If you look at the orange side, then you might think that this is a pretty deep brown, definitely more warm tone. And then if you look at it on the right side, it looks like a different color, right? But in all reality, both of these kind of brown toned smaller squares, that is the exact same color, but they appear to be very different colors because of the interaction that they have with the surrounding colors. So why is this important to know? Well, it's because depending on the adjacent colors in your room and if you're gonna introduce a new color into your color palette, all these things play a part in how well this new color is going to look in your space. It might be paired beautifully in store with some different colors that you don't necessarily have in your house, but how it's paired in store, it looks beautiful and you fall in love with this piece. And then you bring it home and you realize it doesn't look the same. Why doesn't, why am I not in love with it like I was at the store? The color might look different. Obviously there's a lot of different factors that, that could be playing a part in this, but this is just important to know because if you really love a certain color and you want to make sure that you're introducing it into your home, make sure that that pairs well with other colors that you have in your home because it can be distorted based on other things that it's paired well with. And this is one of the reasons why people love to go pretty neutral with their homes and add like accent colors because it can be easier to introduce pops of colors, if you will, or accent colors because they won't conflict quite as much or quite as dramatically as in this example with the orange and the blues. Okay, everyone, that's everything that I have for today's video. If you want me to make kind of a follow-up video to this about how to come up with a color palette for your home, I think that that would be a really fun video and be maybe more practical than this video to implement into your home. So let me know if you'd like to see that. Again, stay tuned for next week's video all about lighting so we can dive a little bit deeper into how lighting can affect your home. Other than that, thank you so much for watching today's video and I hope to see you next time. Bye.